Hello YouTube, my name is Patrice and today I'm bringing you another video on Sea of Thieves but this one will be a more like a short tutorial. I'll try to make it as short as possible. So let's get into it. You already know what it is by the title. We're gonna be finding the... I'm gonna be telling you the best spots I found on... Well, not me found but I researched into more like streamers, YouTubers and stuff. So first things I want to get out of the way is... Um, one is that uh, if you are still low level, if your reputation is still pretty low, you might want to delete your character and actually make the skinniest character possible. With, for example, for me, um, I'm not too high level, but I made this character, which is not the skinniest character. And it, it's harder to hide. The fatter you are, basically, the harder to hide. So the skinniest character would be the best. Another thing that you want to make sure is instead of having what I have right now, so this kind of clothes and this kind of hair, you want to be as dark and as fitting in as possible. So something like color of these wood planks or of these wood planks or something darker, you know? So yeah, something like this will be better. As you can see, it's all dark. The hair covers most of the head. Everything is just like dark and not as bait, except the hook. I don't have any dark hook right now. I couldn't find one. But yeah, this is how I look, for example. And another thing I want to say uh, is very important is that your, your name pops up so you need to make sure that your head is into something like into a wall if you like 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 lay down like this for example your your name won't be seen because your head is into a wall so it shouldn't really pop up as bait unless they properly like look at your body you know so if there is like if there would be like chests for example right here where people usually put them and you can actually come up to here look up behind you go to sleep and if you can, <coughs> well, it's kind of failed, but if you can put your head into the, like a wall or into a barrel, they're not going to see you. Let's move to the hiding spots now. So as I said in the title, it's going to be about Sloop. It's going to be three episodes, different one. One's about Sloop, one's about Brigantine, and another one will be about Galleon. Right now, I mostly researched the Sloop and I tried everything I could up here, so this is what I came up with. Uh, this spot is used by uh, Summit and a lot in a lot of his videos. He, somebody on YouTube came up with it, I believe, or something like that. I might even not lay the best way, but this is one of the best spots because you cannot see yourself through inside where people usually run around. You can hardly see yourself from outside and only like your legs pop up. And from the above, you cannot really see it either. Like um, if you jump around or just be on the board, you're not gonna see this person, you know, especially if it's like night or like this, it completely blends in. To get to this port, uh, you have to actually walk through here, and you have to wait till you fall down a little bit. It's really hard to execute and really hard to learn because you start, you fall down all the time. But yeah, and then you look away, look away from the ship somewhere like on an angle like this or something, and lay down. So see, my head is popping out a little bit right now. You need to make sure that your head's not popping out and that it's into this brown plank. Not to the white wall, uh, like uh, this kind of grey colour, whatever. It's into the plank. What's gonna happen is that you're gonna be keep falling off like this all the time. So if it's a moving ship, you have to be really careful. This hiding spot gets 5 stars. It's, <laughs> it's the best one you can find on this ship. Another hiding, really good hiding spot that I found. I'm not sure if anybody found it uh, besides me, but I'm pretty sure definitely someone did but um, this one I came up with the other day I was just like messing around running around the boat trying to find the best hiding spots and stuff and uh, it's right here actually so you need to make sure that your head is more like into this pole so more like moving to closer maybe look away away um, about this kind of angle from the sails and this this is perfect look basically your head is into the wall you, the name shouldn't be popping up and um, they can, they, you are like right in the middle, so from the other side, from this side, you, they're not gonna see you at all. And I tried it with my friend and they're actually like really hard to see. But if you are, if you're gonna be running around this deck kind of thing, then, and you look up, then they will spot you. But the chances of them looking up is actually very low because people don't usually look up when they're running around here. This place gets 3 stars because it takes it takes longer to execute and also you can be seen from the other side. Third spot is Crow's Nest. Everybody knows about this one. Uh, it's a good spot but it's everybody usually checks this and it's quite bait now. But it's still a relatively good spot. What you need to do is stand into this pole, look away from the scratch a bit more to the right side. Boom. 
should be. Yeah, something like this. Something like this should be okay, I believe. But the main main, main thing about this spot is that you cannot really hide like this anymore unless they have like barrels on top or some kind of shit on top that will hide you. Otherwise, people usually check it and even through barrels, people will usually see it and just blow you up with themselves or something like that or just shoot at it. So, this spot gets two stars. It's not the best anymore, but you can still use it and it's still pretty good, especially if the enemy doesn't expect you at all. Another really good spot is behind cannons, so what you need to do is usually you can just leave it the way it is or you can turn it to the left of the boat so it kind of hides your body more. You have to go around here and lay into them, so look away. Keep in mind, every time, where you, where you, basically you need to face your back where you want your head to be, that's where your head's gonna lay, like this. And this relatively good spot, you at the same time you hide your head, you hide your body. Since I got black clothes, it's, it's gonna be really hard to see me outside the ship. Especially if I would have black gloves as well, didn't find them, yeah, I'm gonna find them later. But yeah, this is a relatively really good spot, I'll give it 4 stars. They cannot see you from, um, from, the, from the wheel or anywhere else from there. But they can see you obviously if they run up here and usually they will spot you. Another like, really famous kind of spot is behind these barrels. You see, people don't come here for cosmetics usually. Usually people come here to pick up wood and to pick up food, right? Bananas. So they kind of see from this kind of angle. So you have to hide right behind those barrels in this kind of angle. So what do I see from here? I see the chest, uh, that uh, clothing chest and I see a bit of it to the right. So I see most, um, all of it. And when we come closer, we see the clothing chest right, half of it right here. So what we want to make sure of is that we hide somewhere in between of those. So something like this should be actually good enough because first, if you look up here, I'm, my leg is nowhere near the chest, it's a bit further away. The, usually the vision stops somewhere around this corner of the chest, so yeah. That's it, that's the barrel spot, I give it 3 stars as well because it's a good spot, but uh, it's easy to get caught, especially if something gets attacked or something, they start leaking. They're gonna come here, build up their thing and they're gonna see you, so you have to be careful with that as well. Another thing I want to mention is to hide inside the chest, so if they usually like people would put chests right here. Uh, or maybe right here or if they are smart and they don't give a shit they will just throw them anywhere on the deck really but, <laughs> but if they for example if they put chests right here what you can do you can actually move those chests around to cover your body more then you come to like a corner right here make sure you're right into this corner and go to bed sleep hide your head a little bit, make more of it tucked in, and especially if you have the chest right here, you're not gonna be seen, this is like a, it's a, it's a solid spot. Another a bit of a shittier spot, but I want to mention it as well, just in case you might need it, is behind this anchor, so if you go stand right behind the anchor, look around, go to sleep, something like that, you need your head a bit more tucked in than this, something like this, yeah, so it's not the best spot, it's really uh, kind of easy to see you, but sometimes you just need to hide here for a second or something while somebody's on the board coming up, and then you can move on to this spot, or any other spot you feel like, but, you know, you just, I'm just gonna mention all the spots, so yeah, this one gets like one star, it's really easy to see, and usually, like, better players will see you from any angle, really, from here, from here, or when they start even up here, you can just turn around and see your back right there. And have like a crappier spot as well is behind the map table, right here. So if you stand right or to the side like this, look away from the map and go to bed, sleep, something like this. It's it's a it's a bad spot, I'll be honest, it's not the best spot. So usually uh, where you why you would hide here is for example if somebody on top of the board swimming and somebody is right here and then um, you feel like there's Meg coming or something, for example you were hiding right here, right? And you need to hide somewhere. So you can move yourself right here. And because when they come from above the stairs right here, they're not gonna, you're not going to be a zovi, especially if they're running around from Meg or anybody. And for example, if they, they Meg attack the boat or whoever attacked the boat, they're going to be just running through right here straight away to fixing up the boat and bailing it and stuff. And as soon as you see that, you can you basically hide here. As soon as you see them do, like gone away down, you want to like run up or behind the cannons, behind the thing, or go to the crow's nest, anything you want really. It's just like a short temporary spot. You can do the same thing if you hide up here. Something like this. And you look away, you look away around here, go to bed. 
all right this behind it, this table it's not as bait as well it's very shady in here and very dark and usually they're not gonna come around here to look at the map because this is a quest area and as soon as you put the voyage down you shouldn't come around here so this is another like a better spot than hiding behind the table you put all yourself here you have a clear view around you have clear view on the stairs as soon as you see somebody go downstairs you bloop and up you here off you go to crow's nest to the spot down there anywhere you want this spot gets a two stars that spot gets one star because it's it's a bit more bait this spot is a bit better uh, it's two stars just mentioning make sure to remember all the spots because you will need one or another one day and it will actually help you <laughs> another spot that i came up with actually yesterday i was just jumping around and final spot that um I don't really see anybody using but <laughs> you can actually do it sometimes you can climb into a cannon I know that sounds stupid and your head pops up so that's the only problem but if you like move it to the side like this you can actually hide yourself into a cannon <laughs> I haven't tried this for myself and I don't know if your name comes up and it's too bait but um, I tried it with my, like my friend and you you see your teammates name all the time and you know it's it's not as obvious it's not as stupid and sometimes the enemy will shoot you instead of a <laughs> instead of a fucking cannon which is funny so yeah guys that's pretty much it i don't know any other spots if you you know a better spot if you came up with a better spot for a sloop or any other kind of boat when i'll be doing in the future please if you, it's not hard for you can you just i don't know put it on on twitter or somewhere and put take a screenshot put it on twitter and just tell me how you roughly did it and tag me in I'll be I'll really appreciate that because I'm trying to find all the possible spots you can actually find so if you can find a better one I'll be really glad that's pretty much it for the video so keep in mind the, I covered about nine spots and uh, from some of them good some of them bad just just try to go through all of them and remember all of them uh, remember that you need a skinny character dark clothes or dark clothes that mixed into with the ship so mu muddy dark you know camo anything like that you have to camo yourself basically and also keep in mind that if you hide your head usually your name won't pop up above your character unless your body is proper seen so you can hide in chests like that and stuff like that but thank you for watching if you like this video please make sure to like it and subscribe and make sure to ring that bell well if you ring it multiple times make sure it's on <laughs> anyway thank you for watching see you guys later bye